Yeah. Here we go. So camera switched itself off. No, and, so on. And, and on. Um, so that is awesome. Which is the way of the guy saying shut up and work. Okay. Hello and welcome. This is your November 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my friend and guest reader, Jane Arnold. Hello. For the sign of Libra. And what we do here, we will divide the reading into sections, so it's a bit easier to understand. Um, we already recorded a lot of signs before this one, and sometimes the guys don't give a crap. What we what do, they, oftentimes it flows into one another, which is perfectly fine. But what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, love coming in, that sort of energy, before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of Libra. Before we start this, I just wanted to share something with you. I'm currently an executive contributor for a magazine called Brains, which is sort of a, a magazine that is about you know entrepreneurship, but you also get a lot of people that are counselors um, that uh, empower you and encourage you to embrace your spiritual side and they give you advice how to get there, if that makes sense. Um, I have been writing a couple of articles for them, three so far. Um, in the mindfulness section and I'm leaving the energy and the uh, and the link in the description box below. It's all free. Nobody's going to ask you for any money. Right? Um, but it's an amazing magazine just to know about and to have. So I just thought I'm going to plug it. Um, also, it's nice when you write something and you, have, and you know that people are actually reading it. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Yeah. So I just want to share this with you. And now we're looking at the overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of November. 2023. Lovely. So, Libra, you have cleanse and detoxify and fresh air. Now, I feel um, this is very much to do with health. This is um, what you put in your body and, and, and how you feel and how your body feels. And this is about you need to put the better stuff in to make you feel better. Um, it's about detoxifying drinking plenty of water plenty of fruit and veg i know some people they're not keen on the fruit so eat more vegetables and vice versa but drinking plenty of water is really a must for you it just feels as though um you're clogging up a little bit inside and i don't mean that medically and it, it's just that's how it feels and it just feels that you need to flush things out a little bit and your body will work better for you if you do that also your mind as well i feel very fuzzy in my head as well so for some of you you will be um quite lethargic and not thinking not being on the ball as much as you normally would be and part of this as well get outside go for a walk get some fresh air um i know the sun's gone now but it will make you feel better just pop your jacket on and you will do that for a few days and you will start to feel more like yourself Thank you so much. And remember, you are Libra. You are an air sign. So okay. if your element is air, and then you're not going to where air is, you harm yourself by not allowing yourself to be you and be in your strengths. And your strengths is the energy of air. Really, really important. Okay? So, and now we're looking at the um, emotional core. Interesting, your emotional core is literally Leo and shine. Leo is governed by the sun. You are an air sign. You put air on fire, for the most part, it will not be extinguished. For the most part, you're making it go stronger. Right? Mm. So the point they're making with you is, when you are yourself, hence the air sign, you are and have at your disposal anything you need. Right? So don't, mm, sounds horrible, maybe not, don't be a person that pleases someone. It's not going to work for you, right? You have your own thoughts, you have your own opinions, state them. But because you have the energy of Leo and the, and the word shine, once you speak up, if that makes sense, your true essence will shine through and it will be much easier. Now, the good thing is that I'm not getting an awful lot of... Um, problems with that energy here. So I'm not getting a lot of confrontation at all. Um, but 
The number on this card is five, which has to do with the fact that, that Leo is the fifth sign, uh, governed by the fifth house, as well as being governed by the sun. But five is a number of communication. And when it comes to your emotional core, it doesn't work if you hide, if you say, you know, I just need a bit of time for myself, even if you then go out and, 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 and in the fresh air, it doesn't work for you unless you actually say, we need to discuss this, right? The point is, it, it's everything here is in your strength. So it is all naturally flowing that way. And because you are in the month of November, which is the 11th month, 11 is the highest number there is when it comes to all 12 signs, because 11 is a master number, anything and everything to do with, maybe I should say something here to make our life or my life work better again, that makes sense, um, should be happening this month because the energy supports it. Okay, that was the, uh, the emotional core. And now we're looking at your uh, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November for the sign of Libra. Oh, what? For Librans, we have play and opportunity to forgive. So this is very much, um, it does tie in a little bit actually with the overall, the play, um, it's getting out there, having some fun. This is um, on the card, young girl, stepping stones, just taking one step at a time, but enjoying life as well. So this is a little bit, set your work aside, have some more fun, have some more play. Again, that will get you outdoors. It will make you feel better about yourself as well. But the opportunity to forgive, this is, this is a little bit deep rooted within you as well. I want to go inside um, and look at things and forgive myself a little bit for things as well. Um, it feels quite, um, quite a harsh, hard energy but it's, it's something that I feel that you need to do, take that opportunity while you're out walking, while you're having that thought time and the one-to-one, -one, just to go deep inside and think about things a little bit for you and what it is that you want for you. Quite a powerful, strong energy I'm getting from this as well. It's the opportunity for you to do that now, getting ready for the next year. Mm -hmm. And... The guides are saying exactly that here um, about opportunities. You have you have reviewing, you have retrograde, which means go slower, right? Not everything feels like it's really flowing, but retrogradation means that you can also review what's going on because things are more, things are calmer, if that makes sense. So the thing that comes to mind here quite strongly, and I talked about the magazine already, um, I made, I wrote an article about the fact that from mid-September onwards, for about four, five, six months, depending on how the energy flows, the sun itself clocks the center of the universe. And then signs that have their birthday between mid-April, sorry, mid-September and mid-April, sometimes don't know where they're going. They can't see it. And then all you have to deal with, or to, to deal with stuff, all you have to rely on is your, your intuition. And one of the signs, actually the first sign of, of the signs that, that are in that timeline, that has a birthday uh, in around time mid-September and then forward, is Libra. So you are, time-wise, energetically speaking, um, in the energy of feeling a tad lost and not quite sure where you're going, which is just because your energy falls into that timeline where you're then affected by, by the more um, obstructed understanding. I can't see where I'm going here. And I made a, I wrote an article about this in the Brains magazine, right? Find it there. Uh, quite important that this comes up here, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. But um, I don't believe in coincidence. So the very fact that, um, you know, could have could have written something easier. Yeah. And then you write something, you're gonna go, all right, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and now it is important, right? Really important. Um, but understand that you very likely didn't know, because a lot of people don't, um, that the sun itself um, blocks the center of the universe, you know, in the winter months. And so you have always, because you didn't know, um, made decisions regardless. And all the guides are saying is, therefore, you've seen it all, you've been through it all. Just understand that when you come to an area where you feel a bit insecure, that is because, you know, 
we are we come from the stars and we are literally affected by anything and everything that happens in the universe and so therefore you are affected by you having less of a natural view at things and you have to trust your intuition so go with your own intuition at all times it will never lie to you okay that's all we got um thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas lastly before we let you go um, i have a special offer just for you for the months and in the months of november if you are interested in getting uh, an astrology report you know see where the stars were and the planets were when you were born and what that means for your life maybe for yourself or for a loved one um, especially with the view of, of soon there is um, the festive season of christmas Kurisumasu, as the japanese say <laughs> um, coming about um, you get you you get a 10 percent off uh, deal there's a picture on the screen here right now and if you want to know more about this Please like, subscribe and share because on this very channel, in the month of November, um, you see a dedicated video that tells you more about it. And it's only three and a half minutes long because I talk forever and I talk very fast, so it's not going to be a long video, but it gives you all the information you need. That's all we got. Jane, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you guys so much um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.